In Creole Parametric, you have tools that allow you to analyze a part's suitability for manufacturing via mold or casting. Let's take a look at the section thickness command. I will go to the analysis tab. In a previous video, I showed you how to use the thickness analysis tool or the 3D thickness analysis tool. The section thickness is available from the model report overflow menu. And I suspect that it's here because PTC is trying to get you to use the newer thickness tool instead. But let's go to the section thickness. When I click on it, it will open up a dialog box. The first thing I need to pick is the part or body that I want to analyze. And I'll just select the body over here. That way it's selected. There are two main ways of using this tool. The first way is by selecting a number of datum planes that you want to use in order to analyze the thickness at those different sections. Let me turn on my datum plane display and I've got a few different datum planes that I want to use over here and if I hold down the right mouse button right now the model collector is active. It's a little deceptive because all the different collectors here are showing up in the same color. To activate the plane collector you can select it from the right mouse button menu or you can click in the field over here and now I can select a number of different datum planes that I want to use for this analysis. I'm going to select the four that I have visible over here. Again you can select one or more. Here we have the ability to specify the minimum or maximum thickness. Right now it's using a really low maximum thickness. Let me change this to a value of 0.2. Also, you can use the check mark box in order to specify that you want to analyze a minimum thickness as well. And let's say for the sakes of my molding or casting process, I want to make sure that the thickness is between these two different values over here. Let's hit the preview button and then in this field you can see the results. I'm going to stretch the dialog box and make it a little bit longer so you can see them. And so right now it's got the first plane selected. If I rotate the model, you can kind of see it over here where it's highlighting it. And it's telling me that yes, it is greater than the minimum thickness and no is lower than the maximum thickness. If I select another line over here, you can see, let me turn off my datum plane display. I don't need it right now. You can see where it's showing. Oops, let me select it again. You can see where it's showing that the analysis is taking place for that plane. And then I can go to another one over here. This is a horizontal plane. And then this one over here, which is right through the middle. And again, it's telling you where you are exceeding the maximum thickness. And it'll even show you if I zoom in over here, we, where you are not meeting that maximum thickness, uh, it'll show you it in red. So again, the first way is by selecting planes. The next way is by using points or vertices and selecting different slices. So I'm going to right click in the planes collector field and then remove all. I'm going to turn on datum point display because there is one datum point that I want to use. And so for using the other method, I can click here to activate this collector over here. And so I can choose where I want to do the slices to and from. And so I can start off and say, hey, let's start with this vertex over here. And then it automatically activates the two slices collector. And I'll select that datum point that I have created over here. And the next thing that you do is specify a plane to define the slices. And your slices will be parallel to the plane that you select. So once again, let me turn on my datum plane display. And the first time I'm going to use this plane over here. Let me turn off my planes again. They quickly clutter up the screen. Might as well turn off my points as well. And by default uses an offset. I personally don't find this that useful. But instead I do a number of slices. And we can turn off the offset. And specify how many slices we want in that direction. Then we click on the preview button. And here it lists the different slices. And the first one over here, well, it's right at the bottom of the part, so it's not actually creating any kind of cross section, but I can pick the next slice over here. And let's take a look at it. 
and then the next slice over here we can see that it's violating the maximum thickness in a few different places which you can see highlighted in red and in this way you can go through the various different slices in this direction let's get rid of the stuff in here and then choose to go in a different direction let's choose to go from that point which I previously used as the two reference for the two reference I'll use a vertex over here and then for the direction let me turn on my datum plane display again I can use a plane like DTM 30 and here we have the number of slices in here let me unclutter my screen once again and then you can select the different slices and you can see okay yep that one is meeting the minimum thickness and it's not violating the maximum thickness and go through here and see the different slices throughout the model and I can see oh, okay here's one where I have a problem is saying that oh there's where we're getting uh, greater than the maximum thickness in the model now one thing about the section thickness it's really dependent on how many slices that you create uh, in terms of catching your minimum and maximum violation so for example let's say I change this to 15 and then hit the preview button and then I scroll down over here in this particular case is saying that I'm never violating the maximum thickness throughout the model so again it's it's part of the reason why I think why PTC is moving more towards advocating the 3d thickness as opposed to the section thickness because you really have to know where you want to analyze the model and this time I even did 20 slices and it's not catching an area over there uh, where we're you know we might be concerned with not meeting our maximum allowable thickness one other thing to note about the section thickness tool here we have a drop down list and you can change this from a quick analysis to a saved analysis and the saved analysis allows you to enable what's called persistent display so you can have these uh, the selected slice visible on the computer screen and see how it updates with changes to the different features or geometry in the model so and that way you're able to use the section thickness tool in order to analyze the part for being able to be created using a mold or casting process I hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.